I think a successful CEO is someone who has a good grasp of the larger systems that are impacting the business. For example, the economy, technology, uh, the environment, social change, culture trends, all of those. Because that allows a CEO to determine what should our strategy be going forward. But once you have that strategy, you can only get there through people. So I'd say on the one hand, the effective CEO needs to have a good grasp of the forces that are driving your own company and its future. On the other hand, you have to be able to communicate that effectively, to persuade, to motivate. You need essentially the skills of emotional intelligence. Social intelligence matters immensely for leadership effectiveness because it's, uh, it taps into the part of the brain that empathizes and that relates to other people and if you don't have that ability as a leader if you're not able to sense how your leadership matters to other people how what you say uh, drives them this way or that uh, then you're going to have trouble but if you're able to sense in the moment how you as a leader are affecting the people that you need to direct and guide then you can be more successful you know, empathy for a leader and on a team is absolutely crucial because uh, if you think about the leader who has zero empathy, this is actually tends to be a boss everybody hates. And the reason is that the boss just gives orders, doesn't tune in to how people are reacting, uh, doesn't understand how what they do and say impacts other people, and they, they go off the tracks. So for a high-performing team and for a high-performing leader, you need empathy because that allows a leader to understand the impact of what they do and what they say, to fine-tune it, to change it as needed. And if they don't do that, I, it's a very sad story. And if they do do that, it's a very successful one.